What if I told you that we've shot ourselves in the foot? Because we have taken antibiotics for everything and anything, they are starting to fail when we truly need them. Today, an open wound, a fractured bone, or a common infection could put your life at risk. We are on the verge of entering a post-antibiotic era. Widespread use of medicines taken to treat infectious diseases, such as the flu, pneumonia, gonorrhea, HIV, and strep throat, has given rise to superbugs. Antimicrobials, once hailed as wonder drugs capable of killing microbes, no longer affect the new generation of resistant superbugs. In fact, we have little to no defenses against them. This silent epidemic poses a serious global health risk that threatens the achievements of modern medicine, including the success of organ transplants, orthopedics, chemotherapy, and surgery. Right now, in every corner of the world, people are getting sick for longer, are paying higher healthcare costs, and are at a greater risk of dying because of antimicrobial resistance. The good news is that it's not too late to change course. By adopting a global, whole-of-society approach to change the way we use, prescribe, sell, and buy these vital medicines, we can still preserve their power and contain the spread of superbugs. In this fight, we all have an important role to play. For individuals, maintaining good hygiene to prevent infections keeping vaccinations up to date, using antimicrobials only when prescribed by a doctor, and completing treatments are key. Are you aware that despite being among the most commonly prescribed drugs in human medicine, an estimated 50% of all antibiotic prescriptions are unnecessary or ineffectively prescribed? In fact, most patients are seeking care for common infections, such as the cold, flu, diarrhea, and sore throat, for which antibiotics are not helpful. Healthcare workers must take the lead in combating antimicrobial resistance by prescribing the right medicines and only when truly needed, by educating patients on their proper use, and by improving infection prevention and control measures in hospitals and clinics. Governments also play an important role. By regulating the production, distribution, and sale of antimicrobials and quality assuring them, by implementing hygiene and sanitation standards, by establishing monitoring and surveillance systems, and by raising awareness. Did you know that more antibiotics are used on healthy food-producing animals than on treating sick people? That the same drugs we take are given to animals in bulk to prevent disease and promote growth? Urgent agricultural reforms are needed to curb practices that undermine the effectiveness of antimicrobial drugs, which are critical to human medicine. In truth, we are already in dire need of new medicines. Academic research teams, in collaboration with pharmaceutical companies and the public sector, need to develop new drugs, vaccines, diagnostic tools and other infection treatment options. Time is running out. We need to act now. The Pan American Health Organization, WHO's Regional Office for the Americas, is facilitating efforts by bringing together all stakeholders to agree on and work towards developing coordinated national, regional, and global responses to antimicrobial resistance. Superbugs threaten all of us, women and men, the young and old, healthy and sick, and rich and poor alike. We all need to handle antimicrobials with care and work together to protect ourselves. Be part of the solution.